Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to create email notifications using AWS SNS simple notification service that are going to fire off every time a new object is uploaded to the SFTP server. We're going to do this using two different methods. The first is going to use the out of the box SNS solution. The problem with this method is the email body is going to be a big JSON string. The second method we're going to do is using Lambda. So we're going to parse this JSON string and just in the details necessary for the end user, which is going to be much more readable and much more production ready. Now, before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Support me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking this video and sharing on platforms you use like Reddit, Discord, etc. Starting the repo on GitHub and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to the AWS Management Console. Then you want to go to Amazon SNS. Once you're there, you can go to Create Topic. Let's select Standard. And we're going to do AWS SFTP Server SNS. Just the name for the topic. Same for the description. Scroll down, Create Topic. Great, so we have our topic. Now we need to create a subscription. Protocol, we're going to use email in this series. You can use something else if you want. And put in an email that you want to subscribe to. So I'm just going to use my personal email. There we go. And create a subscription. Great. Now before the subscription is confirmed, you must go to the email that you put in and subscribe to the service. Confirm your subscription. Now if you don't see it right away, it may be in your spam folder, so make sure you check there. Click into it, and then confirm subscription. Great. Subscription is confirmed. You can close this, delete the email, go back. Go ahead and refresh the page. Go back, scroll down, and we see the status is confirmed. Great. So now we are subscribed to the topic. The next thing we need to do is modify the access policy for the SNS topic. The reason being, what's going to happen is our SFTP server backend is an S3 bucket. That S3 bucket is going to send event notifications every time a file is uploaded to the S3 bucket. For the S3 bucket to then publish that event notification to SNS or SNS topic, it needs to have permission to be able to do so. So in the SNS topic access policy, we must allow the S3 bucket to publish to the SNS topic. So that's what we're doing in the access policy here. So what we need to do is go up and click edit, scroll down to access policy, we can delete everything here, and then we're going to modify it. So we need to go to the code from the GitHub repo you clone earlier in this video series. And the file we're going to go to is AWS SFTP server, AWS files, SNS topic S3 access policy dot JSON. So we're going to copy and paste this file into the access policy. We need to modify a few different variables. First is the SNS topic ARN. So let's go ahead and get that. We can duplicate the tab we're on right now. Go back and just copy the ARN right here. Go ahead and paste it. Source account, we can just put our own AWS account ID. I want to put mine in right here. You put in yours. And then the S3 bucket ARN. So go back and close this. Go to S3, properties, copy the ARN. Go back and let's paste it in right here. Great. So you have everything copy and pasted, three different values. Copy. Go back to SNS, access policy, paste it in, save changes. Great. Good to go. Next thing we can do is create the S3 event notification. Let's go to your S3 bucket. We're in S3 right here. We're going to scroll down all the way down to event notification. So we can create our first one. Now remember what I said in, earlier in the video. We're going to create two different event notifications. The first is going to be the out of the box, the ones that's going to use SNS. Problem with that, it just sends a JSON dictionary. The second one is going to be Lambda. So let's create it right here. AWS SFTP server, S3 notification, and this one will not be Lambda, this will just be SNS. So we'll call it as such. For the prefix, we have two folders. Let's duplicate the tab, go back, go to objects. We have two folders, Alex and John. I'm going to do the first SNS topic using SNS on John, and the second with Lambda on Alex. So I'm gonna do prefix, John. Okay, scroll down, 
we're only going to launch this event notification on put. So only when files are uploaded to the S3 bucket, aka the SFTP server. Great. Scroll down all the way. SNS topic. And here's our SNS topic. Now we're going to click save changes. Now if you get a red box here saying it wasn't able to, I recommend going back to SNS, checking your access policy, and make sure everything is correct here. Because if it's not, you will not be able to select this SNS topic. So click Save Changes. Okay, it was created. All good. Now what we can do is we can actually test this. So I'm on Windows. I'm going to use WinSCP. You can use Core FTP, FileZilla, whatever you want, any kind of FTP client. I'll click New Session. I'm going to connect to the SFTP server that we created earlier in the video series. So I'm going to just go ahead and click Login. Great, we're in. Then I'm going to click into the John folder. I'm going to add a file right here. Great. So go back. We can go here. And here's our notification. Now this is what it looks like. We see our file name right here, John temp1.txt. But this looks like a mess, doesn't it? Now if you're tech savvy, maybe you want all this information. It's very helpful. But if you're an end user, an end client that doesn't really understand coding or dictionaries at all, then you just want to see the name of the file that was uploaded. So this isn't very helpful. We want a simpler way to do this, and that's why we're going to use Lambda instead. So we can go ahead and delete this right now. Let's go to Lambda. Here we are. We can create a function. Function name, AWS, SFTP server, SNS, handler. Great. Runtime, we're going to use Python 3.9 and create function. Great. After function is created, we're going to modify the code down here. So again, go to the code repository that you clone from GitHub and go to the file lambda sns handler in the same directory AWS files. We can just copy and paste this code. And the one thing we need to modify is this sns topic arn. So we go back to sns. We just copy the arn right here. And then just paste it in. Great. So what is this going to do? It's going to get the file path, which is the file name and path to that file. And it's going to send an SNS topic with the message right here, with the file name, and just the subject SFT upload notification. Now we can customize this more if you wanted to. I'm keeping it bare bones here, but this is much more user friendly than the big dictionary that was sent in the previous email. So we're going to deploy. Wait for this to finish updating. Just finished. Now one more thing we need to do with Lambda is we need to modify the role policy. So we scroll down, go to configuration, permissions, then you click into this role here. The reason we need to modify this role's policy is because it does not have permission to publish to SNS. Just like we had to modify the SNS topic to allow it to be able to be published to by the S3 bucket, we must also allow the Lambda function to publish to the SNS topic. So you can scroll down, click into the policy name, and click edit policy. I'm going to add additional permissions, choose a service. We're just going to do SNS. Actions. We're going to do write and publish. That's all we need. And the resources. We're going to copy and paste the ARN for our SNS topic. So go back to SNS, copy the ARN again, and just paste it in. Click Add, and then Review Policy, Save Changes. Great, so that's all done. We can close these. So now our Lambda function role policy is updated to allow it to publish to the SNS topic that we just created. So finally, we can go back to S3, scroll down to event notifications, and create another event notification for our Lambda function now. Where the previous one was on the John folder, this one is going to be on the Alex folder. AWS, SFTP server, S3, notification, Lambda. Again, previous is going to be on Alex. The other one was on John. Again, just the put operation again. Scroll down. Lambda function. SNS handler. Save changes. Great. So let's go back to our core FTP client. Let's go up a directory. We're now in the Alex folder. Let's add a file. Go back, 
Go back to your email. Refresh. Here we go. File alex103.txt has been uploaded to the SFTP server. And here's the email subject line. A lot more user friendly than it would have been in the previous email with that big long dictionary. Now if we go back to simple notification, here's our subscriptions, right? In a production environment, your end client, if you're the one hosting this SFTP server with multiple clients subscribing to the server, you're going to have multiple subscriptions here for all the emails that your client gives you that wants to subscribe to notifications for the server whenever files are uploaded. If you want to add event notifications for files being deleted or any other operation, you just go back to S3, go to the event notification, edit, and just add more operations that you want to be notified for. So again, more clients want to be notified, you create more subscriptions, you want to be notified on more operations, you go back to S3 and you modify the event notification to apply to more operations. Okay, so that's it for this video and this whole video series. If you have any comments or questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next series.